for watching. The, the grandson of uh, OT has caught a thief. He has put 745 people watching like zombies, me including. We are here talking to you guys while watching here like a zombie for 52 minutes waiting to see the thief. I usually call those people zombies, guys, but uh, what you guys should know that uh, categorically it, it looks like I am just one of them, but it's all welcome to my channel uh happy mashuja day to my fellow fellow kenyans and uh thank you for joining the the, the channel so guys uh today let's talk about david jr you know it's been a while we haven't covered his stories and all that so recently the uh the pillars of his uh foundation were actually stolen and on a video he did, he was so frustrated, he felt so bad, you know, because that was an investment. You know, the foundation of a house, it takes a lot of money. It takes a lot, a lot of money. The foundation and then the roofing. So he's still at the foundation level. But someone stole the pillars. He did put out a video saying that, is actually going to put another video and the video has actually come out the uh, second video that is talking about uh, exposing the thief and he actually showed that part as you have watched he showed the thief uh, who was actually caught and the pillars are there you know the police are confronting him and the dad as well you know so after all that some people couldn't believe him you know they think that this is a script the way they always do their scripts. They think this is an, a script that they are used to. They are used to doing scripts. That's why when they watch uh, such a video and uh, someone is going through something, you know, and it needs some support because that is already a big loss for him and definitely will need some help. So, Nairobi teacher feels that his, this was another script. I'll just share another part of the video from Nairobi teacher when he was saying something uh, that actually came to be lie and lie and lie. So, as you can see in that clip, Nairobi teacher is saying that they are waiting to see the thief. So, that... Uh, this guy is actually uh, always putting out a script and they are not going to reveal it until maybe three weeks later when they have gotten like enough donations and all that. But it's surprising when he was live streaming and the video of David Jr. was premiering at the same time and it comes out that David Jr. shared that video of the thief. And he felt actually embar embarrassed, you know, he felt embarrassed. In fact, he was calling himself a zombie, you know. That is what zombies do. They just rant, rant about something that they are not sure about. They just lie about it, you know, just to please the audience. It's not a good thing, guys. It's not a good thing, you know. Saying that someone is uh, lying about something for donations and all that, you know. That's a bad, bad thing. It came very, very late, like at the 51st minute. That is when now the story of the thief came. And you know, he said that he's not going to, to, to tell the entire story there. Uh, he's going to come with the videos, and I'm sure those videos he will even, you know, um, blur the faces of the thief. And then he leaves you guys speculating, then talk about talking about it. And then in the other video, is when now probably we, we have what I just want to uh, let you know, guys, is that uh, this is going to be a very long episode. Okay, this is going to be a very long episode, it's not going to end there, he's going to extend this for as long as he can. He's going to milk from that story, and also, you know, the donations they've got to come, they've got, they, they have to come because no, you know, now he's down. He's down and uh, he has worked so hard. I work so, so hard. It is 
watch his videos and see how hard he works and how this person is taking him back to square one this thief that he's not going to mention the name he's not going to mention the name of the thief but he will mention he's postponing he is postponing until further notice that is when he's going to mention the name of the thief <laughs> Guys, it was such a shameful moment because this guy from the beginning of uh, the live stream, he was talking about David Jr. lying about the uh, about the theft, and you can see he was watching the premiere as well. So how comes the thief was caught and and there were pillars? So can you tell us where the lie is? You know. If actually someone is uh, is used to doing something, they will put, blame the same thing on someone else. Like if you're used to scamming people or if you're used to lying or making up situations just to get some donations, then that is exactly what you would say about someone else. Because uh, from uh, David Jr.'s videos, you can always see that people support him People super chat, super thanks, you know, and all that. And we don't know behind the scenes. And eventually, when he needs help, or if he needs help, he will ask for it directly. He, he doesn't use, like, these fake scripts or scams, you know. The problem is these people are used to scamming in that when they see someone doing something in an honest way, they feel like they, it's a scam, because they know what they always do. So, Nairobi teacher, let's wait for that script from David Jr. rolling for the next three weeks, as you said, just to get enough donations, you know? I'm surprised that the script ended in just the next two days. As Nairobi teacher said, it's a script. Why did he bring up the uh, the thief in just uh, two videos? You know, people are just used to scamming and it gets deep in their head and they feel like everyone is doing that. It's such a bad thing. So let's end with a, a receipt from, uh, what's her name, Di Mwango. Di Mwango, I saw a uh, pebbles hole. She did a video saying that Dim Wangu was robbed in Jamaica. So let's watch the video and let me know because myself, I saw the video and I, uh, I actually didn't see a point where she was getting, she was going to be robbed, you know. This guy was just walking by and he passed and then the video ended. There was no screams the way uh, I saw Nairobi teacher saying there was like, a, she tried to scream or something like that, you know. That video was from two weeks ago, and if it was actually robbery, Dim Wangu would have addressed it uh, sooner, really soon. You know, she doesn't have to be, like, afraid of something, you know. The way you, you guys are putting it, that she's afraid to say it, uh, so that, uh, because it will it will uh, make Jamaican picture look at, like a bad place, you know. In this world, there are robbers everywhere. In the U.S., everywhere. Whether it's a first world country or these third worlds like us, we have robbers everywhere. Just like the other day uh, when Marwa was robbed, her wife was robbed of a bag. You know, there are thieves everywhere. So let's watch the video and let me know in the comment section what you think about about that. 
and uh, leave a comment kindly give the video a like and uh, thank you so much